Good morning. Now, those restrictions will hit Chicago tomorrow, but it has already started in a couple of communities around Chicago, and the mayors are not too happy about it. But back here in Chicago on Friday, venues will have to say goodbye to indoor dining once again. Establishments will have to shut down by 11 p.m. as well. These are part of the new restrictions put in place by Governor J.B. Pritzker after three straight weeks of rising COVID-19 infection rates in the city. According to the Illinois Restaurant Association, 5,000 restaurants have already gone out of business since the, began, the pandemic began. The organization penned a letter to the governor asking for the rules to be changed. Some even wonder why other businesses are allowed to operate, but restaurants are forced to take a hit. Here's what the governor had to say about that. Temporarily halting indoor, in-person eating and drinking operations has been best practice, not just here, but around the world. Why? Because the scientific research proves that these are the activities that frequently cultivate exposure and spread. And more suburban mayors are joining together to fight the new restrictions. Libertyville's Mayor Terry Wepler posted a letter to residents on Facebook saying the governor's order is self-serving since he allows customers to go into restaurants with gambling machines and gamble since the state gets 30 percent of gambling money. Now, he plans to not enforce the new restrictions. He's joining with Aurora, I should say, Atasca, as well as Orland Park. For now, we're live in the West Loop. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.